Joining me in the studio now is Jen and Laura Lee from Special Olympics Michigan Area 36. How are you ladies doing today? Doing very good. Doing Thank good. you for having us. Of course. And so we are talking about an upcoming fundraiser that you guys are having for Special Olympics. And what is that? It is our 38th annual Trim the Tree fundraising reception that we're having at the Holiday Inn. We actually have not had one since 2019, so it's a big deal to have one this year. Um, it's a night of risk, you know, for celebration of our athletes, our volunteers. Um, we'll have some great food and desserts. It's all donated from local restaurants and um, grocery stores in the area. And we rely heavily on donations, which we can get into here in a minute. Um, but it's a night of fun. We might even have a special visitor of Santa mm -hmm. from the North Pole, <laughs> which always goes big over. But um, yeah, we rely heavily on donations for the event and it helps our athletes in the area. Right, and so can you talk a little bit about what Special Olympics is and how these funds will be used? So the Special Olympics is a global nonprofit organization um, that provides sports training and competition to individuals with disabilities. And um, unfortunately, last December, um, one of our storage units with all of our equipment burnt in a fire. So we're looking for extra generosity this year due to all of our funding coming from grant writing and donations. Excellent, yeah, and so um, for the event in particular, um, you said that it was at the Holiday Inn. What kind of dates and times and um, how can people come? Do they need tickets or anything like that? How does that work? It's December 7th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the Holiday Inn. Um, it's a $10 minimum donation at the door. Um, if you can't make it, we do have um, an address you can send the money to. We prefer it to be made out to Area 36. That way it stays here in the UP. Because Special Olympics Michigan is all of Michigan, but when we're doing a fundraiser, we're trying to keep it here, so it's Area 36. But anybody's welcome to come. There's gonna be food, the athletes, we always celebrate the athletes and have a really good time. Excellent, and both of you are parents of athletes, and so, you know, as parents, what does this organization mean to you? So for me, um, my older son is 12 and neurotypical. So my son with autism could never join the typical sporting teams. So when he decided that he wanted to play basketball and swim, we contacted the Special Olympics and he is now an Olympian swimmer. And so it's meant a lot to our family and even the connection um, for the parents and being able you know, to connect and support each other as parents of children with special needs also. Yeah, that's incredible. And so thank you ladies for both being here today. And if you missed any of the information about the event, we will put that on our website for you and we'll be right back after the break.